you know barbie especially when coming for the visa mm-hmm. so the most and the important thing the cover letter yeah. another thing is about the source of fund like uh, who is sponsoring and from where the money is coming right. so how you manage all these things um, yeah so these are like real the most important thing mm-hmm. so first of all i'll talk with about the cover letter mm-hmm. uh, cover letter should include almost everything which you are submitting along with the cover letter so okay. it should include about your uh, short about your previous background why you want to do this course a, a short in that mm-hmm. and after that you have to mention that who is your sponsor specifically properly mm-hmm. how much amount he is providing for your education okay. in, in, in words exactly mm-hmm. and after that you have to uh, tell them that what are the supporting documents you are providing for that uh, for that amount source of source food. of funds mm-hmm. uh, you have to mention that and at the end you must mention about the uh, air ticket accommodation of this mm-hmm. maybe i think uh, uh, he also play uh, put his yes, cover yes, letter yeah every cover letter even I, i put the itinerary so, yeah. for the flight ticket yes, and yes, everything yes. and you can just refer that cover letter if you have like two to three cover letters maybe just refer and don't copy it you just made your own things and in your own words it will yes. help you a lot cover letter is like one of the most important documents you must submit okay and for the proof of funds mm-hmm. it depends on your uh, particular about your sponsor does mm-hmm. like it could be various professions so if he is doing a job or something mm-hmm. you have to provide documents like uh, itr mm-hmm. income tax returns mm-hmm. after that you have to provide uh, a six months bank statement yes. that is mandatory mm-hmm. uh, even in the checklist you will get all these things yes. so uh, you have to provide that but it uh, some of the documents differs mm-hmm. from the professions that your sponsors are doing okay. it, uh, your sponsor can be a teacher uh, a medical professional or uh, agri- uh, it can mm-hmm. have a agriculture background yes so it depends on that. yes especially for the visa proper document is must if yeah, if, really if they important. got yeah, even confused between yeah. some documents they will simply refused right, so right, right. don't do this blunder even now the consulate or the visa people will call you because i got one call regarding one document they oh. were asking yes yes okay. i didn't mention that it mm-hmm. so i will also they were not understanding properly so they might call you because okay. the other documents are really nice maybe that's why they called mm-hmm. me okay. and they're asking like uh, what exactly this so you must know your documents as well yeah what you are submitting you should like study in Each and every page. Yeah. That's really important. So yeah, the most important the proper documents. Don't uh, don't be confused. If you are confused and you don't know, you you do not have the proper knowledge of your document, then of course the embassy and they will not know what is and uh, and the other thing about the visa interview because nowadays uh, every consulate is taking the interviews. So yes. did you had an interview or not? Yes. Uh, So I had a video call interview with video them. Video call. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. what they were asking? Um, you know, like for this year, we like most of the people are like I just contacted online. They got like a huge, a long uh, inter- visa interview. It okay. was uh, mine was around twenty to twenty five minutes. Mm-hmm. It's not like only five minutes. They ask about the sponsor and uh, they they let uh, you. Approximately no. half an hour. Half an hour. Oh. So what they uh, ask in general? In general, they ask you about. they can ask you about anything mm-hmm. you should know about your course that you are going to study uh, okay. in like internationally mm-hmm. uh, after that they ask you about a particular thing mm-hmm. about your course like um, for mine they ask me about which are the firms or companies you know in the field of design okay uh, then you should know like three to four things if you have a uh, in depth knowledge about your course what are the companies mm-hmm. what is the market in future okay. uh, what is your course content so they ask me about that too mm-hmm. after that there are two main questions we usually ask that do you want to come to india mm-hmm. what what is your intention do you want uh, to settle there i think there? Uh, this is the most important thing even yes. in the cover letter so even, yeah please yeah, extend yeah, it please it, extend it, it. it is really very important that you should mention that you will be come back to your own country okay. it's it's very important okay. so they should feel like you are not going to settle in the it will uh, okay. so, uh, that, that they mostly ask in the interview and after that they ask you about your sponsor yeah. who is your sponsor who is uh, the other earning members in your family mm-hmm. like they just see that your family is wealthy good or not yeah, okay. and uh, yes and you have to uh, pro- tell them that which are the documents you are submitting to prove that you have a good uh, enough amount okay. for the studies Um, another thing like uh, how long does it took uh, for your visa to get the approval uh, 
I got in the mid of July, uh, 19, 19th of July, mm -hmm. and I got it in the October, the first week. So I came this like 10 days before. So you applied in July and got in October. October. So approximately how many days? It's around 70 to 80 days, 75 to 80 days. So <laughs> 70 to 80. Seventy you to have eighty to be days. Patient and long. Oh, okay. <laughs> and other thing, many students will ask about the DOB and the visa. So they yeah. they ask whether they can do the both at the same time or they they can they have to do separately DOB and uh, visa. Okay, so uh, it depends on the consulate usually. Mm -hmm. uh, the consulate of Delhi, that is the main embassy, they are not allowing to mm -hmm. apply DOB and visa together. Okay. We have to apply to DOB before applying to visa. At mm -hmm. least we, if we belong to a, like if we come and comes under Ambassador of Delhi, mm -hmm. but uh, I was under Mumbai, so Mumbai consulate is allowing to apply in, like DOB and visa together. So okay. I personally applied my DOB and visa together. Mm -hmm. I got my DOB after one month of application, like mm -hmm. in August, mm -hmm. since I applied in uh, July. And uh, like after one month you will get mostly it took okay. around 30 days, mm -hmm. and visa can look like around 90 to 100 days also yeah. so just uh, keep patience and yeah so there is no any other way course, to fasten your visa process yeah <laughs> after getting the visa how was your reaction <laughs> it was i just couldn't believe that i got the visa <laughs> because i was waiting desperately about okay. it and like it was like a surprise that mm -hmm. I got a message that mm -hmm. and even I got a call before because my so some yeah. of the documents I was like mm -hmm. maybe yeah. they could understand. I sent the mail also. Mm -hmm. So maybe I got confused that if they gave me visa mm -hmm. or not, it's like okay. it was a surprise for me basically. <laughs> And one thing uh, I forget to ask uh, okay. uh, in the visa checklist, you know, uh, in the visa checklist, we have to provide them the proof of accommodations and yes. the air flight. <laughs> flight so yeah. for the proof of accommodation, what you did? Uh, I showed uh, the proof of accommodation from the booking dot, booking com website, oh, okay. but uh, the air ticket I showed, like the real air ticket I booked. Oh, okay. Yes. So... So how, I mean, you don't know exactly when you will travel because you do not have yeah, the visa. Yeah. So how you manage that? Uh, actually, we usually get uh, tickets with um, like very less amount of rescheduling maybe. Uh, uh, okay. One or two days. So I book the ticket which has a reschedule but a okay. very less amount. So you can choose some airlines okay, which okay. has less amount of rescheduling and mm -hmm. cancelling both. Okay, okay. Well, after getting visa, you may like decide proper date and okay, 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 you okay. want to apply. Mm -hmm. So for the accommodation, she book from the booking.com. So yeah. that will work, right? Yeah, yeah that will work. Okay. And accommodation the flight, will work. flight ticket, she did the real. Yeah, you, you I think for flight ticket, we have that PNR numbers mm -hmm. and everything. You should do like the real one booking okay. for the flights. So, yeah. so how much fun you showed uh, during your visa process? Uh, I showed around the, the, the minimum is 11 to 12 lakh rupees mm -hmm. in INR, mm -hmm. but I showed 14.5 lakhs around. 14.5 yes. lakhs. Okay. So yeah, I think uh, it's better to always show more. Some, some and do not show the exact amount, for example, yes. 12 lakhs, yeah, yeah. 14 lakhs. <laughs> There should be some chiller. Yes, okay. yes. What will there change? Like Fourteen point eight nine. Ah, uh, some rupees, like some hundreds. That. Yeah, that that can be fine. Yes. So I think yeah. So finally you got the visa and finally yeah, you landed in Italy, right? Yes.